So I'm going to do a little brief rundown on how a tack is going to work as far as wiring it into a fox body. So I bought this kind of cheap tack from Summit Racing. Um, so what I did is I marked where I wanted to mount it over my vents and I used two self-tapping screws to uh, go ahead and bolt the tachometer in. So you can use however you want. I've seen some guys who mount it on here because they don't want to mess up the dash, but my dash pad's kind of a little bit messed up anyways. I'm not too worried about it. Um, anyways, so that's how I mounted mine. You can do it however works best for you. Um, anyways, there's going to be a, a multitude of wires that are of different colors. So purple's going to be your signal, or green is your signal if you're using a ignition coil. So for me, I found it was easiest to use a signal wire from my um, coil because it's going to be your most accurate and easiest to tap into so right here there's going to be your uh, green wire for your signal and all you're going to do is you're just going to tap into that um, so i went ahead and tapped into my signal that's running all the way to my um, tachometer and then there's also going to be a black which is obviously going to be your ground so just ground that somewhere on the chassis um, you're going to have your white, which is going to be connected to your dash lighting. So you can either get a fusible link in your uh, fuse panel, or you can get... I just took it directly from one of my running lights, which I'm sure is like a big no-no, but that's what I did. Um, if you want orange backlighting, you can use the orange wire, but I just prefer the white. Um, red is going to be your 12-volt ignition. So you want to find a 12-volt source that's only on when your ignition is on. So that way you're not constantly pulling 12 volts. Um, I pulled mine from my solenoid here, I believe. Um, just that way, I mean, that, that was my most reliable source. Um, you also want to connect something that's always at 12 volts, even when the um, ignition's off. So that's gonna be your blue wire. Um, that I just connected to the battery because I think that's like, the most logical spot. Wait, um, actually, no, I connected that one to the solenoid as well. So um, it's pretty self explanatory as far as how this works. Um, yeah, it's not rocket science, but uh, make sure you have a fusible link between your 12 volt source because you really don't want to blow up your nice tachometer if you're using something that's actually expensive. So um, I think that's pretty much it for this. Uh, little clip um, I might attach a video of my tachometer actually working right now the battery's not hooked up so yeah